Cody. What's up, buddy? What's up, bro? <laughs> Corey. <laughs> yeah. You like that? It's patriotic and cute. Hey, the old kitty cat. <laughs> Don't touch my suitcase. <laughs> I couldn't even lift it. I had to read it first. Head southeast on West Airport Way. What's up, guys? Hey, Cody Meyer here in Idaho. You know, I moved from California three years ago, so this is the first time for you guys to come here in the garage. Uh, we picked up the crew last night, Daniel and Corey. Flew into Boise. We had a good time. We're here for an amazing week of some fishing. We haven't seen Corey this morning yet though. You know, I think it's a uh, it's a meat hangover. I don't know where he's at, but I'm assuming he's uh, probably in the bathroom or something like that. But hey, I'm excited about that. Got a lot of work to do. This is gonna be a prep day. I wanna show you around in this garage, kind of what I've done in the garage. But first we gotta wash this boat. You know, I drove back from, from the tour, just the to film. So we need a clean boat, we need a clean truck. Let's get after it. You guys make sure you follow along this whole week. I gotta be honest with you, I'm starting to get worried about Corey guys. It's been uh, at least an hour and a half. Haven't seen the big guy, so I don't know. When I see him, I'm gonna throw him a rag though. And uh, if we're not already done with the boat by then, have him finish this thing off and start getting tackle ready. Oh, Corey. Hey, Corey's finally up guys. I don't know what he's doing. Come out here real quick, man. Help me uh, finish cleaning the boat up. We're gonna boat bling it up with the hot sauce and then get ready for an awesome week of fishing. Come Bo down, bro, we got- Boat's all clean, all ready hey, to go? Boats, the road grime is off it. Okay, we're okay. gonna take the, uh, the bling sauce, we're gonna finish it up and then let's get on some tackle prep, man. Let's do it, yeah. What do I use here, hot sauce? Hot sauce, hot sauce. Does it work better if you do this topless? Dude, I think Corey should do this topless, man. Like, here's the idea. We can start raising some money for a good cause. I don't know, like Cody's tackle stash from Tackle Warehouse. Corey gets topless, people are gonna come by. You know what, we'll actually probably have to pay them to watch us, huh? <laughs> or pay them to put my clothes back on. Right. Corey's topless boat wash. So I'm guessing no hot sauce on the seats, or what are you using the seat? So you can, honestly, you can use this for like graphs and just anywhere with, uh, any dirt, but I like the vinyl sauce better for upholstery. You know, like the fish guts or Corey, your big uh, sunscreen guy, like it'll just wipe off the sunscreen. So I like that. And then the condition sauce we'll use last. I love that for like any of the rubbers and uh, especially tires. And it's easy because you can just spray it on, just barely wipe it and it comes off clean. But growing up out here on the West Coast, all the hard water spots, it'll just take off those hard water spots. And if you use it all the time, when you go to wipe down, they won't even stick to it anymore, so. All right, man, boat's nice and clean, all, all blinged out. Blinged uh, out. So we got a little weather coming this week. Uh, we got some options of what, what lakes do we have we can try to check out and fish this week. Yeah, so I'm excited, first of all, to have you guys here in, uh, in Idaho, but so. you know, we definitely have plenty of options. You know, for one, uh, Brownlee Reservoir, you know, it's a really steep lake. Uh, it's a canyon lake. It's part of the Snake River. Uh, beautiful scenery, tons of smallmouth. I love going to uh, to Brownlee just because you catch a lot of fish generally. Water usually pretty clear, beautiful lake, lots of fun. Yeah, and that's about an hour and a half north right here? Yes, yeah, about an hour and a half northwest. Uh, not a bad drive. What else we got? So we have CJ Stride, you know, out towards Mountain Home, Idaho. Uh, really a high desert lake. Again, it's it's set up differently. There's some steep canyon stuff. Uh, there's the river that comes in. It's also part of the Snake River. So you can run up the Snake, or we could also run up to the Bruno Arm, which is a really shallow uh, area. Kind of like, it reminds me of Clear Lake, right? Like you have the north end and the south end. So definitely have a lot more options there. And you know, another option is just fishing the Snake River. There's big stretches of the Snake. The only difference is we uh -huh. can't take the fiberglass bass boat. How are we gonna get there? We're gonna do a jet boat. So we have a jet <laughs> boat in the garage. Uh, that like thing will that. run literally in three inches of water. And what is so cool, Corey, is there's both smallmouth and largemouth, but most of the bass that we're gonna go after 
have not even seen a bait yet. They're dumb. They are very, very dumb. I so, like them stupid. So uh, we're gonna definitely go after there. It, the, the problem is just finding them. You know, it's yeah. a huge section of the river. They're only in small little areas, so we're gonna have to run around. Uh, definitely use the garments, navigate over some some extremely shallow water, and hopefully find the right water fish. And we're just gonna have to see how it goes. I'm excited to get out there, man. I am too. I think it's been an awesome week. Uh, really excited to be up here, first time in Idaho. Uh, first, I love, and again, first off, thanks for your hospitality. Cody has us here staying at his place with the family, crashing here. So, big thanks for that. So, you basically have a little mini tackle warehouse here in between your truck <laughs> and the garage and everywhere else. Uh, I, don't want, I didn't bring any tackle. Yeah. So, let's go look at some options we have to throw tomorrow and kind of pick some baits out and then get some rods rigged up. Yeah, let's do it. Right, let's go. All right, so tomorrow, hard baits, soft baits, combination of both. What are you What are you thinking? You know, I'm really thinking hard baits. You know, like Brownlee, it. it's it's a it's a good lake just to be casting, winding, casting. Uh, definitely a lot of options here, all okay. from Evergreen. Uh, Let's yeah. go through them. Ton of crankbaits here. Yeah. You know, even maybe some swim jigs. But uh, check Ooh. it out, Corey. If we can, I need to get me one of these. Hey, just... you need to get one of these. <laughs> oh, this nice. thing is absolutely loaded up, but. Uh, definitely a jerk bait, you know, Evergreen yeah. Faith. This is the 87 and the 115, like but it. we got some new colors as well. This is gonna be, you want me to throw this or you're gonna throw this, the pink one? Uh, I'm down to throw it. All right, because that one will get a bite. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we got some X-overs here. This is an awesome bait. Of course, the Flat Force, tons of options. The okay. CR Series crankbait, yeah, the like six, it. the eight, the 10, you know, even the 13. Sweet. Square bills are my always alley. money. You know, also some small crankbaits. Maybe, uh, maybe the little piccolo. That Ooh, little, piccolo. Little tiny guy. So I think you know we got a lot more stuff. We got top waters, all kinds of stuff. But I think for tomorrow, let's focus on this, Corey. Crankbaits, jerk baits. Get out there, chase the wind. It's going to be a lot of shallow flats, deep points. Should be good. Reaction bite incoming, man. All right. So like I said, I brought some reels, but Dia was also kind enough. Send some new stuff. We got what the new Steez A. Yep. And then the new Tatula MQ LT. LT. Yes. So to try that one out. New Tatula Elite rods. Put the test. And uh, what else are we gonna need? Hey, well, for one, I got this for you, Corey. Colgate Wisp. A lot of beef jerky. A lot of I don't know what you're gonna eat. So I'm just coming prepared. But also, I got a gift for you right here. Yeah. What we got? I got uh, whatever line you need. Ooh. Dialing, samurai. J Floro Samurai. Oh, and uh, I think you're going to have to up your line size a little bit because I heard you cast off a lot of baits. <laughs> no, come on, man. <laughs> hey, you know what? You're right, but I appreciate you. I'll have to figure out how to get this all shipped back to work when we get done. But I, I appreciate you giving me all this line <laughs> and the ice chest. It's very kind of you, buddy. Hey, whatever you need, you have it. Let's yeah. rig up. Let's go smash them. Let's do this, bud. All right, so it's 4 a.m., a little after. We haven't had coffee yet. Just got the list from Corey. Priorities to have in the boat. Red Bull, peanut butter jelly, sandwich meat, deli meat, deli cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Milk. Allergies are going crazy. I haven't had any coffee yet. And that tastes terrible. Look at that. I put some over there, actually, because I wasn't sure. Let's look at that maybe. Still gone through tackle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was picking out new stuff. I was thinking a uh, bluegill, but you said craw. So I mean, I got that ghost bluegill color. I got that kind of. I like it. Tight. Which one do you think? Here's what you do, man. I like my coffee with cream. Take my creamer and add a little bit of coffee to it. Make it perfect. We're still waiting on Corey. He's still rigging rods. Hey, he said we're leaving the house at four. Okay, then we're leaving the house at five. Now we're leaving the house at maybe six.
Dude, we made it. Uh, Finally. Bit of a long drive. Hour and a half, you said, eh, we're like two and a half, but we, <laughs> we did make a few stops. But hey, talk about a gorgeous drive. This is a beautiful freaking country. We're here, we're here to fish. What's the plan? Are we gonna go up river or what are we gonna do? We can run like 70 miles. Okay. But right now, we already put the troll motor down. Yeah. I turned on, live scope, looked out there. We're gonna start right here. Oh, dude, got hammered, Corey. No, oh, no, dude, really? Corey, you better get your line in the water, man. Well, it is. Corey's back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and I backlashed again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's, he's got a good batting average right now. He's two for two. So, Corey. Action. There we what go. We got? What do we got? First fish of the day. <laughs> Legal. Oh. Uh oh, double, double, double. Uh -oh. Hey, we haven't even made it out of the five mile an hour zone yet. What do you got? Yours bigger? Of course, mine's bigger. Oh my gosh, it is bigger too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm throwing the smaller jerk bait. Corey's throwing the bigger one. Bigger bait, bigger fish. Hey, better fisherman too, probably. But. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that is so cool though. We've literally gone about. Uh, I don't know, 50 yards. Caught a couple of bass. Flag it. Hey, look at that, how cool that is. Hey, are you guys live on this? Corey, oh. Corey's got wood. Good bet, look at the, the bet on that rod though. Corey is on, fish on. <laughs> oh, this one's really pulling. Well, it does hook now. Oh. Oh. Woo oh, wow. Smoked it. Smoked it like rip drag. <laughs> I just had one of those. Uh, we might have to show you how to uh, <laughs> hey. use the underwater camera, Cody. Oh! <laughs> Oh, Corey! <laughs> oh, oh, welcome to Idaho, boys and girls. <laughs> I don't know how to land on these smallmouth creatures. These brown ones are weird. Oh! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's easier said than done. Dude, look at that brown cow. <laughs> look at the jerk bait. It's Choked it. Look at that thing. <laughs> Dude, oh, oh, watch the fingers there, Scooter. I almost just uh, demonstrated the old brake trick. Hey, Corey. Yes, sir. You just went back to back cast. You got a three foot tree <laughs> and a three plus pound small mouth. <laughs> I'll take the small mouth. Dude, I, think I, I pause it and just, I'm like, oh, Took off. dang, dude. Hey, we have literally, I mean, we've been fishing for what, 10 minutes? Yeah, if that, yeah. <laughs> awesome start, man. I'm loving it. Corey. Fish on? Fish on, man. Nice, dude. Nice Good one. Good one. Oh, heck. <laughs> All right, hey guys, we're smashing them right now, but we've already got a lot of video done in here for this vlog. We're gonna wrap up this vlog, check back next week to see what Cody's got here. And we're gonna get back to more action here from Brownlee. Brownlee Reservoir in Idaho, man. Check back, Smalley Smash Fest, guys. <laughs>